So I decided to take a trip to San Francisco, California. And it was really on some let's get away type deal, but it's much more than that. I've been struggling with my prayer life for quite some time, man. It's like, it's not even that I don't want to pray. I do. It's just, man, I don't, I don't know what I want to pray for. You know, how you ever get a sense that you want to, you want to wow God just as much as he wows you, you know? That's what I want to do when it comes to my prayers. I want to, I want it to be to the point where when God hears it, he's like, wow. Knowing that's impossible. Like, I can't, I know I can't wow God. But it doesn't stop the fact that I want, want to try, you know what I'm saying? And so there's days where I just, I just don't pray when I go to when I go to sleep or just throughout the day, I was like, I feel like the prayers are cliche, you know what I'm saying? Everyone wants a family member healed or, you know, everybody wants more money. Everybody wants to have a job that they love. Everybody wants something that, that betters their situation. And I feel like those type of prayers are cliche. Though they're needed, I just feel like they cliche. And I've always wanted to be an original. I wanted to be something that's not of the norm. So I'm over here trying to take, basically take pride in having original prayers. You know, where God be like, dang, ain't nobody asked me for that. Knowing God has collected thousands of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of, of prayers throughout the years. That's why I came out here, man, to reconnect with God. You know, it's cool to have your quiet spaces at home and stuff like that, but you can get comfortable at home. And so I came out here by myself. This is my first time ever traveling by myself to anywhere. I have nobody here to distract me. I have quiet time. Right now I'm just at the beach chilling I just wanted to hear from God and like intentionally hear from God so I've made sure that I was quiet you know like I ran the car I did not play music the entire time I've been out here I have not listened to not one lick of music since I've been out here because I've been trying to just focus and hear from God and I and I did I heard two things. The first thing I heard was learn to live without people who have learned to live without you. And this goes, and I know exactly where where this goes to, where you know what what this is touching. And it's hard to see people that you love and care about move on to something better for them, something healthier for them, something that helps them prosper, something that helps them get to where they need to go. And it doesn't include you. That's hard. That's hard. That's a hard pill to swallow. But just because it's a hard pill to swallow doesn't mean it's not capable of being swallowed. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to chop it up, crunch it, do what you have to do, but it's not impossible to swallow it. I have to learn to be happy for them. I have to learn that this is God's plan for those people to get to where they need to go and not have you as baggage. Now I need to get to where I need to go without film. God meant for this to happen. God knew this was in the cards. We we didn't know, but God knew. And so I can't be hesitant to receive what God has in store for me because my surroundings at this moment look different. He's removed some people, inserted others. So I gotta rock with them. Because they rocking with me. The second thing I heard 
Learn to appreciate the gift of singleness before asking for the gift of companionship. <sighs> I'm trying. But as my grandmama told me, don't try it, just do it. <laughs> Everybody says find a lesson in everything. Because there is a lesson. And I know exactly what the lesson is. But then it but like I said, I hate cliches. The lesson I was talking to I was just talking to somebody about this too. My past relationship failed because a woman submitted to a man, which was me, that wasn't submitted to God. So therefore, since I wasn't submitted to God, I had no direction. Since I didn't have any direction, I couldn't lead this woman to where we needed to go. I was a horrible guide. All men's primary objective when it comes to marriage and dating a woman is to lead that woman to Christ. It's to walk with that woman towards Christ. And I didn't do that. And so I have to take this time of singleness to be submissive to God. I got to take this time of singleness, establishing a firm foundation to where when God does bring that person into my life, they have something to stand on. And hopefully, not hopefully, I know that God would also place a woman in my life that has her own solid foundation on Christ. And we can start building together and representing the kingdom the way God intended it. That's all I heard from while I was out here. So as I'm flying back, which will be in a few hours, I have the tools to carry out what God wants me to carry. I just want to be great, man. I want to be great in everything that I do. But I can't be great without God. Thank you.